Well, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to take this opportunity to extend my most sincere thanks to uh, Professor Mari, he's not here right now, and uh, Kyoto University for hosting this wonderful work workshop so that we can have a chance to exchange our experiences in internationalization issue. And, uh, well, my name is Yuan Ji Gang Yuan is my surname. It happens to have the same pronunciation of the measure word for Chinese money, Yuan. <laughs> Though it does, uh, to me, it means no money, so I missed no money. And the Ji Gang means discipline, so I hope I'm a disciplined person. I will finish my um, presentation within 15 minutes. <laughs> And not until uh, this early morning, when I read some latest news on the uh, internet after I got up, uh, did I realize that my Chinese friends and I actually came yesterday with two more Chinese friends uh, on our way to, uh, to New Miyako Hotel yesterday evening. They went to uh, Ueno Zoo in Tokyo. They are two lovely pandas from mainland China. Okay, and we are lovely too in another way. So we are here today at this in this room. Okay, um, well, uh, my topic will be broadening the horizon of students with international awareness and cross-cultural understanding. I would like to share with you some of the uh, approaches that uh, my university is ta has been taking uh, to, uh, for the uh, internationalization of the uh, domestic students. Well, this is the vision of the university and the internationalization. Uh, as you may know, Zhejiang University is a community of learning uh, dedicated to excellence and grounded in the tradition of scholarship, uh, truth, and innovation. It prepares students to lead and serve in both domestic and international society. So this mission requires us to make a long-term internationalization plan for those domestic students. Well, this is the basic, uh, some uh, basic figures, current figures of the university. We have altogether over 40,000 students on campus. We have five campuses. The, the net is just about the same size as uh, West Lake, which my city, Hangzhou, is famous for. And we have uh, about 1,800 international students. Those are degree students. They take undergraduate programs or graduate programs. We have uh, 300, uh, 1,300 full professors. So uh, what we are doing for our international, in our internationalization plan, I think uh, just like most uh, universities here have been doing, we're trying to build up degree programs taught in English. In the next five years, we're trying to uh, build up as many degree programs studying English as possible. And unlike uh, Tokyo, uh, Kyoto University, I just read from the newsletter, uh, the uh, executive vice president of Kyoto University, he said, well, um, in graduate courses, both professors and students use English when at least one student cannot understand Japanese. So compared with your university, we have a long way to go. Yeah, so we now have just a few degree programs. So in the next few years, we're trying to build up as many uh, degree programs as possible taught in English. And uh, to reach this goal, we're going to invite 100 at least uh, international, long-term international professors and experts teaching on campus, besides uh, 500 short-term professors and experts we invited uh, on each, uh, I mean each year. So in three years we're going to uh, hire 100 international instructors on campus 
and we are also doing uh, student exchange, faculty exchange, and research collaboration, double degree, dual degree programs. And uh, now I would like to share with you some of the, uh, I think, most successful um, programs that we have been doing this, these years. And uh, we're doing uh, some of to May. So uh, they will be at UCLA during that time and doing research with the UCLA faculty members there. After their re research there, they will return to Zhejiang University to present their research uh, results to the university faculty to fulfill their degree requirements. So this is uh, one of the successful programs we, uh, uh, we have been doing. And just like many other successful student exchange programs, uh, uh, this UCLA, uh, ZJU UCLA SRP, we call program, helps broaden the horizon of undergraduate students with international awareness and cross-cultural understanding. Next, the Crimson Summer Exchange Program. And this is uh, also a successful cross-cultural elite education program that helps students uh, to improve their cross-cultural understanding. 
And this is a two-week program and uh, led by students from leading universities such as Harvard, Yale, Cambridge, Oxford, and also, um, uh, you know, um, they worked together with co-fellows from Zhejiang University, usually co-fellows are senior students, or junior or senior students. And uh, they are at Zhejiang University to train those freshmen of Zhejiang University. And uh, here are some highlights of this program. The good thing about this program is we provide those freshmen who actually uh, have not yet started their classes at Zhejiang University yet, but they have, through this program, they have opportunities to work with those uh, students from leading universities in the world. So this is a very good opportunity for them. And there's uh, some of the uh, highlights of the program. Beyond the Limits, Life at the University. And here are what the students learn from CSE program. Appreciate different cultures, backgrounds, and knowledge. Inspire innate potential. Promote self-confidence. Nurture a positive attitude to life and a self-motivated passion for learning. Encourage cre creative thinking. Polish English communication skills. Enhance social teamwork and leadership potential. Foster responsibility of a global citizen. Develop lifelong friendship and partnerships. Okay, um, no. Well, besides, besides those two examples, I would like to introduce to you another example that, that is in my mind. For those students who are from a poor family, not so wealthy families, we don't think we should uh, let them down. I mean, uh, not any students, I don't think, not. Uh, any students should not be uh, deprived of study abroad opportunities. So to provide those students with such opportunities, these years we have encouraged our partner uh, universities abroad to move their summer session courses to Zhejiang University. So they come, the, the students come with professors and uh, they uh, the professors teach them summer courses to their students at Zhejiang University. While Zhejiang University students, some of Zhejiang uh, University students join them in the class, taking the same class courses and uh, the same examinations, of course. And uh, so by doing so, the advantage, the good thing for the uh, partnership, uh, partner university to move their summer uh, courses to Zhejiang University is they, they can, uh, uh, I mean, teach in the China background. And the Chinese students can provide their, you know, views, uh, different views of perspectives in the classroom to share their perspectives with the uh, American students and foreign students. So this is a kind of win-win um, situation. So we're doing more and more of uh, that kind of program for those uh, students, excellent students who are not from uh, wealthy families. And now I would like to say a few words of advertisement. Oh, sorry. Hangzhou is, uh, oops. Hangzhou is, uh, not many people know where Hangzhou is. So, uh, oops, what happens? Huh? Oh, sorry.
not a high tech person. Oops, anyway, <laughs> okay, but uh, Hangzhou is uh, very close to Shanghai. Everybody knows where Shanghai is. So uh, Hangzhou is actually um, about 200 kilometers south of Shanghai. And uh, a century ago, it took 24 hours for people to travel from Shanghai to Hangzhou by boat. But now, a new high-speed um, high rail line connecting Shanghai and Hangzhou has been in operation. And it only take, takes uh, about 40 minutes to travel between Shanghai and Hangzhou. So I would like the universities here to send your students to uh, Hangzhou if, uh, uh, to study at uh, Zhejiang University. It's very convenient, and uh, you know it's not far from uh, a mat uh, metropolis, like Shanghai. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to invite everybody here to come to Hangzhou for a visit. Thank you.